Hi there and welcome back to MassiveSynth.com tutorials. This is part three in the series we've been doing this month about making, creating an electro track from scratch using Massive as much as possible, maybe some other third party plugins or native plugins within Logic. Uh, part one we made the bass patch in Massive and then in part two we edited the bass patch, bounced it down to audio, um, sidechain compression, some EQ and made a sub as well in Massive and in this part, part three, we're going to be doing the lead sound that I played there on the intro. So it's a kind of chordy sort of lead, just to kind of lift that bass up and take it to the next level, really, um, and to sort of layer it on top. I mean, I just for this patch, I actually used the same notes as what we had for the original bass patch. So if we look here, it's the same MIDI riff. Um, and I just duplicated it onto this other instance of Massive to create the lead sound. So let's go ahead and create a new sound in Massive and start programming this lead patch. So we can start off with oscillator 1, can stay as a square saw, keep the pitch at 0, and everything else can stay the same. So it's a sawtooth wave, what we're hearing here, intensity on full, amp on full. And we're only going to use one filter for this lead sound, so route that oscillator to filter 1. Turn on oscillator 2. And this is going to be a sawtooth wave as well, so keep all of this the same, except the, the, the pitch is going to go, if we go up to plus 7, because what I wanted to do with this sound was create a chord-like sound, so I wanted a nice inversion between the two oscillators, so going plus 7, I'm getting that perfect fifth chord, basically, which is quite good for uh, electro or complextro type sounds. I thought it wasn't really taking it high enough, so I actually hold down Alt or Option, click and drag up, so it's at plus 31, so we're going an octave at a time there, so it's just lifting it up a little bit higher really, turn the amp of this second oscillator down a little bit, route it to filter 1 again, and oscillator 3, turn that on, this can stay as a sawtooth, but this time we're going to go plus 3 on the pitch. And that just gives us quite a nice chord sound, really. Um, and I was also going to take this up by one octave. So hold down Alt or Option, click and drag up. And there's the kind of crux of our sound, really, just the oscillators. But we've got quite a nice sort of combination between the three sawtooth waves and just altering the pitches here, really. So this can oscillate three can root to filter one as well. And I'm also going to use that modulation oscillator for this sound. So turn that on and I'm going to be using the phase mode on oscillator 2. And that's just kind of that's kind of adding quite a nice sort of tone to the sound really. But with this oscillator 2, I actually pitched this initially plus 7 and then turned it up two octaves. So I want to do the same with this pitch here. So I want to go plus 7 here. So we've got the same kind of the say it's at the same pitch as the the oscillator which we're modulating so right next up we can move over to the filter section and for this sound we're going to have a bandpass filter keep the bandwidth and resonance round about halfway make sure the volume of the filter is on full when the mix slider is all the way to mix 1 you can actually pull the cutoff down to around quarter of the way or just beyond quarter of the way up we're going to modulate this cutoff frequency with an envelope. So move over to the envelope 1 section and click and drag the crosshair to the first modulation slot on the cutoff frequency, the bandpass filter, and then click and drag up. And now this envelope is controlling this cutoff frequency. I'm getting quite a nice sort of shape and tone with the sound now. I'll pull the attack of this envelope up so it's a bit sharper. The attack level can stay on full. Decay halfway, push the sustain up a little bit, and that should do really. We can actually take, we can actually edit the amp envelope now as well, and just we want the kind of same thing as the filter modulation envelope. So what we could do is here is just copy this envelope and paste it in here. Next thing we could do with the sound is add some vibrato and when we created an, a new sound in Massive we get this macro 
vibrato in already. So I'm just going to push this up to about halfway. That gives us quite a nice kind of electro sort of vibe with the sound. And I'm going to bring in some distortion now. So I'm going to use the tele tube and it's going to be quite a subtle amount of distortion. So just dry, wet and drive, just, you know, just below a quarter of the way up. Just beefing up the sound a little bit. We can turn on the EQ and maybe just add a bit of tops. And reverb is quite essential for this sound, really. And just turn it on, pull the dry wet down to around quarter court of the way. And push the colour up so we're getting a quite nice bright reverb. Okay, the last thing to look at really with this sound is the voicing section. I just want to give the patch three voices, uh, keep it in polyphonic and turn the pan position on and then we're going to get a really nice wide sound. Turn the master down because I noticed we're going into the red there. And there's our, uh, there's our electro lead kind of chordy type sound and one thing I notice actually sometimes with making these kind of really wide leads in Massive is if they're going to work in a mono setting as a lot of club systems are actually mono and one way I check this is to have this gain on Logic on the master output and it's actually bypassed at the moment when I unbypass it I've got this mono switched on so it converts any signal going through the output into a mono signal so so now this synth is playing in mono and actually it's not losing too much to phase so we can keep it nice and wide and we know that when it gets converted to mono it's not going to completely phase out or destroy the sound so it's going to work in a kind of club mix setting really so there's our electro lead sound I think one last thing I wanted to mention is the sequence I have playing here. I have this riff and then what I do for this initially it's just playing a single riff and then if we fast forward slightly what I do is I actually double up the riff and copy and paste it an octave up so We get that increased tension which sounds quite cool and is quite a cool way to just add interest with this kind of lead part throughout the track. So that was part three in this series. Part four we're going to be looking at editing that lead sound, processing it and if we have time I'm also going to show you how I made this ARP sound. And there we have basically the kind of the structure of an electro track going on. So yeah, thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope you found it useful. Any questions then please get in touch and hope to see you again soon. Cheers. Bye.